This is why you need to find your grow bags this season. So, the basic gist of why I'm grow aligning my grow bags is because I am in a dry climate and I don't want to have to water these grow bags every, you know, every two or every twice every day if I am in some cases. I don't want to have to do that. So, what I did is just use a contractor um, plastic bag, garbage bag, and I cut it, you know, I cut the bottom off, and then I cut about 8 inches, because this is about approximately a 10, 11 inch tall grow bag. What I did is I left about an inch and a half of the top and an inch and a half of the bottom. The inch and a half of the top is for mulch, the mulch layer, because that doesn't need to be sealed, and the inch and a half at the bottom is still for air pruning which is what the grow bags are so good at. Another thing uh, is make sure these are a food safe plastic if you're worried about that and also make sure it hasn't been treated with any sort of insecticides or insect repellents. So basically unscent it and uh, make sure it's food safe, it's a safe plastic so you don't have to worry about any chemicals leaching into your uh, whatever crop that you plan on growing. And another thing is, is this will save me a lot of time uh, in watering. And plus, the bigger that the grow bag that you have, um, the you, you don't have to water it as much. Another consideration is if you are watering a grow bag for the first time, use a container like that. You know, any sort of container that will fit. You know, blue kitty tub, any, any container. You know, use your own ideas. Um, this is what this channel is for, just to share some cool tips and ideas with you, my uh, fellow audience, and I hope you take these ideas into consideration and make them your own. I really do encourage you to make them your own. So that's just a quick tip on why I line uh, my grow bags, and if you are in a dry climate too, or you get hot summers, this is why you must line your grow bags as well. And you can line them for pennies on the dollar. You know, each garbage bag is what? Uh, 50 cents a dollar and then you can they're only using eight inches of it and generally those contractor bags are pretty big so uh, The other consideration you need to keep in mind is the diameter of your grow bag You need to make sure that the garbage bag is at least that much and if not like you can see right there You can, you can just fold it over itself and it will be perfectly fine so I hope you liked this video and got something out of it and you know take the again take these ideas into your own consideration and get on growing.